Right, I just wanted to say that um, I'm not sponsored by anybody. In my last, in one of my videos, I was like banging on about how uh, I have Vega, you know, all these Vega drinks and everything like that. And they're like, oh, dudes, are you sponsored by Vega? And I'm like, no, I'm not sponsored by Vega. And I'm not doing a product. If Vega wants to send me free stuff, dude, I'll take it any day of the week. Uh, I like their products. That's about it. Sayonara 3 by Mizuno. I'm not sponsored by them. What happened was I was watching this video by Dylan Wikes. He's like a top Canadian. Oh, look, some dude's running right there. Okay, we got a guy on a bike and some cats running down the street. He's booking it too, man. So, what the hell? So what happened, what happened was um, I was watching this video trying to figure out what type of shoes I was going to go. I was thinking about going with Brooks and um, I went with a... Another pair, I won't even name the brand. Well, I will name the brand. It was uh, a New Balance Minimus. Man, I, re I bought a shoe like a couple years ago and they were fantastic, it was a great shoe. But uh, the new one, I just didn't like it as much. So anyways, here's what happened was I was watching this video with Dylan Wikes and he was talking about uh, the Mizuno and it's a commercial for them and everything and I realized that and yeah, I fell for it. I went for the shoe, I'm gonna take it out for uh, a run and it felt really good. It felt like a lot of support. It's a lot different though than when you're running with like a, a 3.0 type of shoe. Anyways, that's what I did. I went out and I got the shoe and I really like it too. I love looking out this window. It's why I keep looking out the window all the time. You're like, hey, focus on me. I'm like, dude, yeah, but people are like running by and that. Anyways, going out. Not sponsored by uh, Mizuno. Here's the thing about uh, because I took a little bit of an injury on my left heel here, and what happened was it was starting to. So I have a training plan. I'm going to tell you about my training plan uh, in the probably the next video. I'll, I'll get to the training plan. So what happened was I went out for like a really really long run, and my stabilizer muscles like kind of conked out on me. And it was because I was wearing a pair of shoes that I just wasn't happy with. But it was the only pair I had and I paid, I actually bought two pairs of them. And I paid a lot of money for them and so I was just like sticking with them. So what happened was, I went out and I decided I needed something with a little more, a little more support. So when I ran uh, the first race of 2016, there was like a lot of big, a lot of big name runners came out. Rob Watson, Brandon Lord, and Dylan Wikes uh, were there, and I believe it came one, two, and three. And so I was just kind of looking them up on YouTube and seeing what they had. And Dylan Wikes is supported by Mizuno, and I was watching some of his videos, you know, banging on about shoes and that. And one of the things I liked about it was wide toe box, so that way my toes are in and it has support in, in the shoes. Like I can literally see through, through that. So that might give my heel a little bit more cushioning and it seems to have a little bit of uh, arch support right in there. So I'm gonna take these out for a run. They, uh, I will say they are the most expensive shoes I ever have bought. I like the gold, right, running for the gold. Kinda light, well, not as light as uh, the minimal shoe I was wearing previously. Uh, they have a little bit of a heel, I think it's a 12 millimeter drop, but uh, that's what we're gonna do. Take that out and uh, I'm gonna take them out for a run right now and see how they work. The shoes are feeling really, really good, man. Just got back from uh, running with the Mizunos. Actually, I've been out a few times with the Mizunos and uh, man, they work, they work really nice. This is, I guess, my review for them. So, uh, like I said, I wear uh, 9.5 on the Mizuno. The Sayonara, it's nice. Do you know the first, I've been out three times with these shoes so far. The first time I thought they were a bit clunky, especially compared to uh, uh, the Minimus shoe that I was wearing ahead of time. So I was like, uh oh, it's a little bit on the clunky side. <clears throat> but, uh, 
The second time, I didn't notice it being clunky at all. I think the main thing was that it's, uh, it's still a relatively thin shoe, but it has, like I say, a little bit of this heel and everything. Actually felt really good the second time. First time I was like, oh no, I think it might be a little bit of a problem. Um, you know, the clunkiness, I can't picture like racing in these or anything, but second time, loved it. I still have a little bit of that injury with uh, the left leg and the left heel and I find that these carry me to about five, five and a half K before, you know, I start to get a little bit on the, the wobbly side, but I really like the support. It holds nice in the heel, like right in here. The toe box is wide so I can feel my, my toes kind of flexing a little bit. Um, originally I felt that the, the shoe seemed maybe my left foot's a little bit larger or something. Um, this one seemed to be a little bit uh, wobbly, like shorter for some reason, but when I took it out the next two times, I had no trouble with it at all. Seems to be fitting nice to my, uh, my feet. I can feel a little bit of the propel forward which is nice but at the same time you know when you start to uh, really kick it and you start doing more of the um, more of this part of it hitting the ground it feels solid so yeah man really happy with these gonna keep tra training in them I really like the I like the color I like the little logo on the back and uh, as this shoe it's pretty solid I also took it out uh, it was in the rain and um, my feet feel like they can breathe well and the traction on them was really good for, for the rain. I haven't taken them out on uh, trail runs because I thought if I don't like them I'll just bring them back to front runners. But uh, no, they seem really well. I'm going to keep them and I'm going to train with them and keep moving with them. So that's my review for, uh, for the Mizuno. Uh, happy with the way it's going. Can't wait until I get past my injury. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the things I'm doing for my injury and after that, bang! See you later, Gator.